can I still bring my dependents into the UK after 11th of March as a care worker? I'm on a skilled worker visa. Can I bring my dependents into the UK after 4th of April? How do I know whether my company's license has been revoked? I've not received any letter. How can I find out whether it has been revoked? These questions and many more will be answered in this video. If you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Cynthia. I share information that will help your transition abroad to be as smooth as possible. I share information about settling, working or studying in the UK, US or Canada. If any of these countries interest you, please subscribe to this channel. Hit on the notification bell so that each time I drop a new video, you know it's time to watch Cynthia Academy. And without wasting time, let's get into this video. I just want to thank my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your love and support. And in this video, like I said, I'm going to be answering some of your questions. Since the government announced some of these plans and changes in immigration policies, there has been a lot of confusion. And many people keep asking questions over and over again because they want to be sure of their stand. These changes are going to affect everybody including students and people that are already on one visa or the other so it's very important that you listen to some of these questions and know how you can tailor this advice to your situation now the first one is how do you know whether your company's license has been revoked i'm going to put the link in the description box you can check out this particular website the website is licensesponsorsuk.com so this is what it looks like i put in here in the search bar as you can see, there are more than 96,000 companies here. As you scroll down, you see license tier is skilled worker, but some companies have their license tier as license has expired or removed. So those are the companies that you have to avoid. So what you have to do is put in the name of your company in the search bar. It will tell you whether your company's license has expired or removed has been removed so just check it as you can see these are some of the examples of some of the companies that have been removed it's very important that you do this because in the last few weeks there has been more than 100 companies who lost their license their license was removed or revoked and you don't want to be a victim because some of these employers will not tell you now the next question is as a care worker can you bring your dependents into the uk after 11th of march no, you can't bring your dependents into the UK if you got your COS and your visa approved after 11th of March. It is the date you submitted your, C your visa that actually matters. So if you submit your visa application on maybe 10th of March, 10th of March, a day to 11th of March, you are likely to bring your dependents after that. But if you submit your visa on 11th of March, even if it's just one minute, <laughs> midnight, it's over. It means that you can't bring a dependent into the UK. And that is what the law says. If you're already in the UK as a care worker, and maybe you just want to switch to another visa, then you can do so and still bring your dependents. Remember that the law affects only those who want to apply for that visa option so if you get a cos and you think oh i got my cos before 11th of march therefore i'll be covered or protected it doesn't matter <laughs> you are good, not going to be protected it is the date you submit your application your visa application that actually matters so bear this in mind as you are hurrying up trying to get your cos 11th of march is around the corner just make sure that you submit your visa application before 11th of march so that you can be allowed to bring your dependents into the uk the next question here is hi cynthia thanks for the update can you please confirm that the ban of bringing dependents from 11th of march will only be for killed occupation code 6145 and 6146 all other skilled occupation codes for physiology doctors nurses will still be able to bring their dependents to the uk post 11th march i have just completed my masters i'm looking for jobs as we speak within the nhs and have already got work, uh, family as a student as student dependents here with me i am worried if these rules change will impact me looking for 2217 jobs further if i find a really uh, uh, something above 
will I and my dependents still get IHS exemption as NHS healthcare worker? You can see he's looking for a job under the code 2217 and that's medical radiographers and they are covered. They're exempted from IHS fees. And also, you have to understand that if your code is not 6145 or 6146, you are not going to be affected. You can still bring your dependents into the UK if your code is not any of these two. So I'm talking about 6141. You can, that's nursing auxiliaries and assistant. You can still bring your dependents into the UK. 2217, you can still bring your dependents into the UK. I'm going to just flash all the occupations which you, you don't need to pay for IHS. You know that IHS fees is going to go up from 6th of February to 1035, which is a lot of money. If you qualify under these codes, under the health and care visa routes, you don't need to pay for IHS fees. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid at all. Just take your time. Look for a job. I pray you get a job before your visa expires and you'll be fine. So everybody relax. Relax, guys. It's not the end of the world. Something has to work out for you. Now, the next question is, please, any idea if a student who will switch in June will be able to switch if the main applicants got COS after April? The main applicants work on NHS as a nursing assistant. Thank you. Nursing assistant, code 6141 you can bring your dependents into the UK. You're not affected and you don't need to pay IHS fee. So the next one is, I'm planning to get married in a few months. How much late can I bring my wife to the UK? Also, what shall be the salary requirement for me? I know many people are, are worried about this because many people think that the family visa, which they, are, they say is going to go up to 29000 is going to be affecting people that are dependents of students, dependents of skilled worker visas, dependent of uh, health and care visa holders. Please, I want this to be very clear. Family visas is a very different type of visa. It's different from dependents of students, skilled worker visa, global talent visa, health and care visa holders. It's just totally different. Family visas are for those people who want to, that maybe they are British or they have indefinite leave to remain and they want to invite their spouse to come and stay with them, spouse or their children, to come and join them as a family in the UK. That visa is very different and that is the visa that has the three categories that they're going to increase it to. That's first to um, £29,000 which they've announced the date to be 11th of April, and then they will increase it to 34,500 before they will increase it to the final stage of 38,700. So you don't have to worry. If you already have your visa approved under the skilled worker visa option, you can bring your dependents anytime. Remember that your dependents uh, visa is linked to yours. That's very important to know that it's linked to yours as well as the fact that your whenever your own visa expires, that's when your dependents visa will also expire. So you can bring your dependents. It's always advisable to bring your dependents early. You can still bring your dependents after the date, 11th of April. I think that's the reason why this person is on 4th of April, which is the date that the minimum salary threshold will go for up from 26,000 to 38,700. If you've already gotten your visa, you won't be affect, affected by these dates. So you don't have to worry at all. You don't have to be concerned. The only people that are going to be concerned are people that are outside the country that want to apply for a skilled worker visa and they're applying after 4th of April. If you're applying af after 4th of April, just know that your COS should be 38,700. But if you're a student, I explained what entrants are. If you're a student or you're under the post-study work visa, you qualify as an entrant. And what that means is that there will be a discount on the existing um, minimum salary threshold of 38700 And the discount is 30%. So if you do your calculation, you find out it is £27,090. That's the minimum salary you should have on your COS for you to be given a as in to qualify as an entrant and be given a skilled worker visa. 
also note that if you are under the health and care visa there are some exemptions to that particular minimum salary threshold of 38,700 teachers that's people in the educational sector uh, health and care visa you don't need 38,700 COS before you can be allowed to get a visa under the health and care after those dates they've announced so that is sorted it's also important to note that for entrance you only qualified for four years so this is something you have to put bear in mind and the truth is that many companies are giving <laughs> cos now i'm talking about non health and care visa options they're giving cos because that increase that eight thousand seven hundred is a lot if, in fact for some companies twenty seven thousand and ninety pounds is a lot so they are doing their best to see if they can recruit as many people as they can now so that they can save costs so that's something you have to consider if you need a job please apply make sure that your cv passes the ats system by including keywords and make sure you score above 85 that's your cv scores above 85 so that you can pass through the ats system and get to the hiring manager and if you don't know how to go about that seek for help help from people in Upwork, Fiverr, you can reach out to me. Many of my clients are getting jobs. I'm helping them to get jobs. I'm so proud of them, every single one of them, because they are doing what I teach them to do and they are getting those jobs. So reach out to me, look for support. Don't die in silence. Don't think, oh, it's, I will find a way. No, do something about it. You have to be intentional about your job search in order to get a job in the uk and don't worry yourself there are many opportunities for you to get a certificate of sponsorship right now i noticed that there are, there is this delay in the government issuing cos and i feel i need to let you know that you can tell your employer that's to try the priority um, option for cos so that they can generate it faster that one you take like how many working days five working days or so i can't remember he has to or he or she has to pay for it and if if they pay for it it's going to be faster the cos will be generated faster for you so that you can use it to apply for your visa as soon as possible if you're a care worker apply for your visa before the 11th of march so that you can be able to bring your dependents afterwards i wish you the best remember to like share subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye bye